Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, it's your boy Tom 202, going through it. <laughs> I'm going through it, y'all. <laughs> it's crazy out here. I'm here at Advance Auto. Yo, let me let me tell y'all about my last couple days, right? Okay, so I had some homework to do, right, in accounting, because I, you know, I suck at accounting, so I had to get all my homework done, right? I start this new job. They want you to train for five hours online, you know, and I st and that starts tomorrow. So I just got my homework done, right? Uh, today, but last, but yesterday. Oh, okay. Let me take it a couple days back. So, uh, of course, you know, thirty first hit. Like I had like no money. Like my money's zilch, right? So I had zero dollars. Then my man uh, uh, on offer up hit me up. He was just like, "Yo, I'll buy your refrigerator for fifty. So I went outside, washed the refrigerator down, bring it in, sprayed it down, cleaned it up, bleached, bleached it up, boom, he came, got the fridge. Boom, I had 50 in my pocket. My phone was cut off, but the internet was on. But I needed my phone on because I have two bank accounts. One of them is on the in the Midwest, the other one is all the way in the South. So I had I had a hundred, I, you know, I had a couple hundred dollars hit my account, but I couldn't get to it because my bank card expired. So I'm like, oh, this is crazy. So I used the $50 to turn my phone back on. Cause <laughs> it's crazy. I turned my phone back on. Then I bought some food and I ended up, I still had, I had $1 in the bank. Like, <laughs> But I had food though. I needed food, right? And I got my phone turned back on. I called a, uh, I called a bank and I was just like, yo, how can I get my money over here? They were just like, we'll just have to send you a new card. Because I don't know where my, you know, the new card they sent me. So I'm just like, oh my goodness. So I'm back down to a dollar, right? So after I get done shopping, I'm like, okay. I bought some food, bought enough to sustain me. I had like 10 bucks in my pocket. I, I go home, right? It's pouring down rain and this lady's moved in her couch, right? She used a U-Haul to do it. She's stuck in the yard. So me, I'm like, all right. You know, I like to help people regardless of what you crazy people think about me. I'm always helping somebody. That's just my nature, I am. So I see her, like I go and try to help push her out, right? You can't push the big old U-Haul. So I put my truck in gear, boom. Meet up with the bumper to bumper, start pushing it, doesn't work. Her truck is stuck there, it's still there. Stuck there, I'm just like, damn. Then my brake line goes out. So, the little hundred dollars I finally got. Okay, so my brake line goes out. I'm like, okay, I don't know what happened. So I get up today, uh, finish my homework, text my man, was just like, how much it costs to fix my brakes? Because I thought it was front brake pads. He was just like 50. Come to, I come to uh, Advanced Auto, they were just like, nah, it's actually your brake line. I put some brake fluid in there. Brake, is, brake, brake fluid is coming out all over the place. There's a mechanic right here. Boom. I was like, how much, man? I said, look, I only got a hundred. He's like, I'll do it for a hundred. I was just like, I said, listen, I only got a hundred. Like, I still need to buy the brakes, brake line. He was like, I'll do it. Boom, right there. I had to tell my other dude, I said, look, I'm afraid to drive it. I can't even come out to where you at. He's like, I can do it tomorrow. I was just like, nah, I got a dude up under it right now. And I hate to do somebody like that because when, when you think, because I'm the same way. When somebody wants to buy something from me, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to make this money. Then you get that call or you don't get no call at all and they don't show, you don't make that money. So I know how the hustle game is. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've been hustling for years, doing something at all legal, you know, flipping something. You know, right now, you know, I, I toss around refrigerators and appliances that, uh, that are used. You know, I find some every now and then or somebody would be like, yo, you know, in my apartment complex, they'd be like, yo, there's a fridge or there's a whatever over there. And I'll grab the dolly, put my back brace on, and go get it. You know, take it and clean them up. You know, flip them. Cost me absolutely nothing but time. You know, and a backache, <laughs> some pills, because my back is always hurting. And, you know, I'll make that extra dough, especially when I have zip. But, uh, yeah, so I'm on the hustle game now. And so I was just like, look, all I got is $100. Because <laughs> I just went to the bank. I went to the bank. I was just like, listen. How can I get my money from one account that's in the South all the way here? 
in the Midwest. They said, you have to do a bank transfer. Well, I was trying to do a bank transfer yesterday. I couldn't do it because the card had expired. So I couldn't even do a bank transfer to get that money. So, <laughs> so it's crazy. And I went to the bank yesterday. It was just like, that's the only way you can do it. So then I was thinking last night, wait a minute, what if I wrote myself a check because of two checking accounts? So I was like, all right. So I called last night and they were just like, yeah, if you write yourself a check, that money is available to you right now up to $200. I was like, shoot, all I need is 100 I just need to be okay so I can start this job on Friday. I can have food, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. I've just been going through it. I'm all, I'm all muddied up. Look that mud. That mud last night helping that lady push her car. I'm all muddied up, broke. I'm out here struggling, man, but I'm out here though. You know what I'm saying? My car is jacked up, but you know, it's getting fixed. You know? So I went to the bank, took my checkbooks, wrote myself a check. That money was available to me right away. Took that money, came down here, met my man, and he was just like, yo, give me a hundred, I'll do it. I was like, boom, here you go, and here's, this is where I'm at. And I've been going through it, man. Couldn't believe my brakes went out, but you know what? I'm still here. You know what I'm saying? I got like, once this is all over, I'll have like 10 or 15 bucks on me. You know what I'm saying? Till tomorrow, but I'm not hungry. My car is good. You know, God's still blessing. My back hurts, but God's still blessing. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. You know, I had a friend call me. I don't even talk to her that often. She called me crying, you know what I'm saying? Eventually she got into crying because she was, you know, she hustling too. She doing the best she can with what she got. So basically she was, she has, you know, a uh, extra room in her crib because, you know, her kid has grown out the door. So she's like, I'll go ahead and rent out my spot. And she got a nice little spot. So she was renting out a room for 200 a month, trying to make some extra dough, right? Well, these people just was trying to just use her and tear her place up you know and they end up getting themselves into trouble and told a lie on her and made it seem like and told the 5-0 that she had a gun and she just shot somebody <laughs> she had a gun she just shot somebody and they so they pulled up to her house helicopters outside rifles blazing the whole nine told her put her hands in the air you know people end up dead like that this is one of her tenants did this to her. It's supposed to be a friend. She was like, I just couldn't believe it, Tone. I can't believe they did. I was like, yeah, don't let nobody else in your house. But, you know, she's trying to grind. She was just trying to, you know, get that money a legal way. This is the way you're supposed to do. You're trying to find different ways of innovation, of uh, getting getting paid. That's, that's, you know what I'm saying? But people who don't really know me, see, some people really thought they knew me, but they don't really know me, man. Like, there's all kind of ways to make money legally and get out here and get it. And uh, when I really need to grind, this is just what I do. You know what I'm saying? Or I go up there and work at Honda for a night. You know, get paid $12 an hour. Back really hurts after one of those nights, but nonetheless, it's an hour away. That's why I don't like it. But uh, yeah, it's an hour away. But it's the hustle game, man. This is where you at. You know, tomorrow I'll have a little bit more cheese, but I got to pay my rent and the rest of my bills. You know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> it's, you know, before before next week, I'll be right back at zero. But you know what? I'll be right back at zero with my truck fixed, my rent paid, my bills paid, my stomach full, and I'll be just out here grinding. I'll be at zero, with, but I won't be at less than zero. I won't be at exactly zero dollars, but you know what I'm saying. I'll have I'll have a little something in the bank, but it, I can't do like I used to. Like I used to spoil my neighbors and buy them stuff. I can't do that anymore. I'm saying I had to pay a lawyer. The lawyer took all my money, but you know what? I'm still I'm a free man. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I was like here, <laughs> make sure I don't go to the bank. You know what? I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Those neighbors, they move. God bless their soul, because I don't have nothing against them. You know, they have hatred for me, but I don't have, I have not, no, I have no hatred for them whatsoever. Nah, I, I wish them all, I mean, if I see them, I'd be like, hey, of course they don't want to 